Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Deception 4. I'm your host, the Game Under Arius. Last we left off, we had a bunch of really annoying foes that decided, hey, we're gonna just be a giant pen in the ass. But now, we got ourselves, like, three enemies, and then some twin ladies that I can't even see. Which I can only tell you is not gonna be a good time. Oh no, I'm gonna make this quick. Possibly. Hopefully. So... Are both of these... Yeah, okay, a Thunder and a Storm Mage. I don't know what the difference is, but screw it. So here's the thing. Is that I'm pretty sure that this game is gonna pull a Oh, you lost scenario on me. Like, out of completely nowhere. You know what I'm talking about. You know when you're playing a video game and you're doing good in a boss fight and you win and then you cutscene lose? I get the feeling that's what's gonna happen. Like the twins are gonna run off or something and I'm gonna be all like, oh, but I lost the holy verses. Those kind of those kind of losses always irritate me, because it's it's a forced loss. You know? Anyways, I'm mostly just trying to get back up to the stage because... <sighs> Screw me, I don't want to deal with Thunder Mages. The only way that this entire level could probably get better... In theory... Is if I could just kindly, you know... Not... Have to deal with any of these bastages. Actually... Nah, nah. I was thinking to myself, oh, maybe I could do something in that stage. No. You know, at some point, I would like to do the missions, though. I, I would like to do the missions. It's just that... <sighs> the things that they ask of you, man. What is it? Use the big swing of Stormliner. That's pure chance. 2,000 in a, stink in a singular thingamabob. That's... That's gonna take a little bit of a whoopin'. A whoopin'? Whoopin', rather. Alright, I'm pretty sure that this is going to activate the thingamabob in the first place. So, why don't we just kindly... Hmm. Anything else I could place there? For fun and kicks? Okay, for a second there, I had to recheck myself whether or not people were going to be immune or something to one of the things that I'm applying to the floor here. So let's see what happens. Pretty much tell you already what's going to happen. Mrs. Mick gonna die! That's not what I intended on. And come to think of it, I probably should have prepa prepared for such a scenario. Oh well. Crap. You are an ice soldier. Wait. You know. Okay. I was about to say, you're not resistant against anything, are you? There we go. Probably best that we. Oh, crap it. Oh. Not why I intended on, but okay. Ah. Uh, is, uh. Is Dude Bro here? He's about to get in here, isn't he? Won't doubt that for a second. Oh, hey, he's already here. Alright. That's fine. Rocket horse. And pop. Oh, oh, oh. Get you kicked. Hold you in place. Kind of hoping that someone would try to get over here, but eh. 
All right. Be the last part for her. Oh, jeez. Who did I hit? Too bad you did. I really hope that the other. Ha ha ha. I was worried there for a second because I thought that the other ladies were going to be coming in and I was like, oh god no, please. Boop. I wonder if Danny's running away. Is Dan no. He's not running away. He's just uh, bad at his job. C -c -c combo Ah, oh, sweet! That worked beautifully! And now Deanie's gonna be the one to die! And... Blub! I really do hope that this is going to be super effective against those two ladies. Because that would be hilarious. Come on. You got this, Danny. Use your big boy pants. Ooh. Nah. She's moved out of the way. Well. Now I'm just gonna hope that Helen is super stupid. And she's gonna take her sweet ass pimp time. Because why not? I figured that these guys weren't going to be the problem. It was going to be the twins. I mean, look at this lady. It's limping. Pretty sure she's got back problems from how big her breasts are. And just getting punched in the face all the damn time. <laughs> I love it. Just always looks like, oh, I'm not ready for this. I am not ready for this. All right, I'm just punching her out of that combo because ha. Yeah, it only would piss me off. I think Lagrena is the only one that actually has boob physics. Is it weird that I noticed that? <laughs> All right. The ladies are coming. So I'm gonna guess that Theo's gonna be a pain in the ass. Supposed to be. Gonna be. Okay. Weak against v vases, which I have none of, and boulders. Resistance. Da, da, da. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> um. <sighs> well, we get a name, Lady Freese. Descendants. Yep. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Come. Oh, crap it. I missed the activation time. Okay. All right. Okay. There we go. And then this will break her out of her armor. Ow. A little bit more charging. And skip bulk. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I get terribly amused that this is working as perfectly as it is, but man, it is working massively beautifully. I did not expect it. I really did not. Bitch! <laughs> uh, way too much humiliation out of this. I know. My god, this is gonna work. I can't believe this is gonna work. Ow. Ow. Alright, okay. 
<laughs> okay. Well, at least I got her sister. That's unfortunate. I wonder if she's got different tactics now. I mean, just think about it. They could really, you know, provide some more tactics for this lady who's got a recently deceased sister and give her something more than just, oh, hey, I got a bow and arrow and I'm real fast. Nah, not likely. Even if that she did, probably not going to give her an opportunity to use it. I mean, look at this. This is just too perfect. It's humiliating. It hurts. And then it's all going to be humiliating again. Gotta say, though, don't think that these women have as much support for their, for their breasts as much as uh, they should. You know, a good old bra, something. No? Got none of that going for them. All I got is like two strips of clothing. Just two whole strips. I know that this is earning me practically no arc because, you know, I'm just using the same four things over and over again, but man, it's hilarious. It's funny to me. Especially knowing that I'm probably going to be, put, again, be put in that, oh hey, by the way, you lost scenario. That cutscene that says, oh hey, you suck. Then there's just something funny about someone being punched the entirety of a screen away. Don't know what. Hmm. Wondering if there's something else I could put there instead of the goop. Gotta be something else I could do. Like the claw. Claw will hold her and then punch her. The die. Oh no, I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Oh well. 22 is a good combo. Is that it? I I'm not saying is that it for the fight. I'm glad that that's it for the fight. I'm just saying, was that it for the cutscene? So that the no. So no mama fukako ni bring in a rare master. Ima ni tarute wake. He sama, keep him a do. Choto, boyari surukana, atamanga. でも大丈夫よ、リリア。よかった。しかし、どうして倒れられたのでしょうね。少し思い出したわ。あの双子の死を見て、急に目の前の景色がぼんやりとしてきたの。そうですか。ま、戦いが終わって、ほっとした表
まずは扉の鍵が一つ開いたってところですねとにかく先へ進みましょう The only way for us is forward. Well, number of traps gonna. Yes! More traps! Ah. Well, I ain't gonna say that、uh, that was that bad. I totally did expect the sisters to have, like, oh, suddenly last second overwhelmed us, sort of thing. And. That would have pissed me right the hell off. Alright, so I got. I ain't gonna lie. I was. I'm kind of amazed just how useful the bidet is. The fountain toilet, but the, you know, basic fountain toilet. <laughs> just. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, most of these are pretty ineffectual. It's just. Oh, well, most of the. Humiliating ones are ineffectual. It's just they're better for pushing people around or keeping them in place for a little while. It's all dependent on how you use it, you know? Like, if someone lands face first on the flypaper rope, I'm not going to be able to use the pendulum, pendulum blade, but I will be able to, you know, slap them with a massive ball of spikes or something. That said, I really do wish that I could have used some of these for other levels, you know? Like, there's just a lot of these that might have been really damn good. Hmm. Pushes four, causes oil. I'd really need to see what the magnifying glass does. I don't know what additional attack is supposed to be. Alright, I'm gonna start unlocking some of the lesser ones because they're just. They're just piled up, and as much as I want to use stuff like Evil Stomp and, you know, Oil Press and Cake in the Face, eh. I, I do have to unlock some of these other ones to keep them. Hmm, two stage hit. So that I can just, like, clear them out, as it were. Um, vacuum floor. Might as well. Is a vacuum. It's on the floor. Uh, hanging chains binds for six seconds. That actually sounds like it'd be surprisingly helpful and good. And if I can unlock the last of these floor ones, that would be it for. Ooh. I kind of want that launch pad. Two stage hit plus impact. Launches the victim high into the ceiling, I'm presuming. Which would be really good with a lot of other traps. A lot of stage traps. At least in the first two games. Or first three. First four. I keep on forgetting that trapped is technically part of this series. Yeah. Alright. Uh, any of the lesser brutal traps? Only the circular saw? Really? Pushes two squares, four stage hit. That's pretty massive. I kind of want to get Alder Baron, but I've already spent a lot on piercing and electric. No, I might go with the hell laser. I just want to check what. Okay, only. Yep. I need to just grind for Warl. That's what I need to do. Go back to the other stages. Just grind for that shit. Or maybe not have used the same four traps over and over, over and over again, in the same combo. Because I think you get awarded more based on、uh, how many traps you used in the combo that there are. It's why I got so goddamn little, relatively, for getting like twenty hit chain combos. Yeah, I'll go with the hell laser. That. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna. Oh. Oh, that would be awesome in conjunction with the、uh, octopus arm. Because the octopus arm also makes someone either wet or oiled. I think. Really need to test out some of these, but I need to afford them first. So. Yeah. Don't know why I keep on trying to look at that. <clears throat> Let's. 
So I'm keeping Evil Smash. That is just way too damn good. Can I just sort these? Ah, there's Hell Laser. So I'm gonna use Hell Laser next time. What else did we get? Oh, right, we had gotten... I had got launch pad and uh, vacuum trap. Where's the vacuum? Okay, four seconds. Four seconds of suction. Whether or not that pulls someone. Oh, one more. Yeah. Whether or not that pulls someone down, like it forces them down to lay on the ground or not, I don't know. Ah. <sighs> Man. So many of these guys. Wonder who's in the next lineup. Uh-huh. Pale Sigh. Yep. There's a guy with a massive hammer. It's not gonna be annoying in the slightest. That's a guy with a flamethrower. Sorry, gas. Gun. Wait. Affliction attacks slow. Oh! Okay, so he causes the slow status. It's not like he poisons me. Weird. Earthquake attacks. Did the other one have earthquake? Yep. So we got a bunch of dudes who... Uh, agile. Trap dodger. Uh. And then you... Also earthquake attacks. You're... You got vigilance. I don't know what vigilance does. And no, putting... Pad button does not help. I can zoom. That's about it. Some impressive looking armor. Also, her name's Missy. That's an unfortunate name to be given by your parents. And a combo that uses five or more elaborate traps. Could do. Statistic traps. Could do. Wait. Uses five or more using only... Okay, so Celia would require me to use five or more elaborate traps, while Veruza would require me only sadistic traps. Okay. Well, more than likely I'm not going to be able to do those anyways. Wait. Why has that one got a star? Can I earn it again? Because if it's... If it's more points... Because she's a star, then that would be fan freaking tastic, and I could earn earn all of it. Anyways, <sighs> so it seems that the demons have some sort of plan for the Grena. You know, a good three quarters of the way through the game, it's starting to unravel. It's like many a good anime story. So. I guess we'll see what the hell that's all about in the episodes to come. But for now, I'm going to call it here. When we return, I'm not sure. Uh, the story synopsis is on this one. Oh. The first thing I read there suddenly made me really pissed off. Oh, it even gives you the additional thing of why you've come to this part. Celia, Celia survived. Well, she only survived because I done screwed up. Well, in any case, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. When we return, I guess it's Zeno all over again for hopefully the final goddamn time. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.